this video is a follow-up to one of the first lectures which is the basic MEP it's an introduction to coordination and the construction sequence in that lecture talked about plumbing underground and some of the things that had to be coordinated on a, on a smaller project I have some additional things I thought I could show a couple different ways to do overlays and let's just jump right into it so right here and, I, and you know me I like to over communicate this is the corner of the building right here uh, it and this is a big map footing and the dash lines remember the dash lines there uh, that's that means it's hidden you can't see it right so that's down below the foundation so that that's a 36 inch map footing the top of footing oh it's supported on uh, rammed aggregate piers and then they're telling you the rebar and uh, or the reinforcing and then the top of footing is three feet down from finished floor so that footing right there had a we were we were going to get ready to to do that work right there and this whole corner of the building and had a pretty good idea that uh, let's go look at I think this one's it yep and see the corner of the building in this one so let me actually split my screen it'll be a little easier to tell what we're looking at okay there we go so over here is the same thing as this place but this 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 drawing is the utility drawing and we're not actually seeing all the foundation stuff that we're seeing on the structural drawing right but I had a hunch that maybe maybe it would be worthwhile looking at this uh, grease interceptor uh, vault as well as a sampling manhole and maybe even this uh, sanitary sewer manhole and see how close they come to uh, this this big footing uh, that is again 36 inches thick it's down three feet so it's a uh, to the bottom of the footing it's basically six feet down from finished floor okay so one one way to do this would be to go ahead and and do the uh, overlay pages and I'll show that in a second but I wanted to show another way to do it so I'll, I'll show you the overlay but first I want to do the like the quick and easy one so the quick and easy version goes something like this, where you take, uh, uh, what do I want to do? I want to do, I'm going to put this on top of this. And so we're going to go take a, a snapshot. And uh, that, that should be enough right there. And we're going to paste it on there. And Bluebeam tries to do a good job at at uh, making it so that you can kind of see through it, but it's sort of hard to see through it. So one of the things I like to do is when you have your your snapshot put on there, go change colors, modify color, and say colorize. Now everything's going to turn red, and then go make uh, the properties of that opacity down to like 50 percent 40 percent there we go now that uh, that worked just fine it looked like was my was the building corner lined up no I guess before and now as we zoom in I'm not perfect but I'm just trying to see if it's what it's doing so the red was what I copied off this page and you can see that that corner as what I'm trying to line up with the footing and foundation corner and so that's a, that's an easy way to to sort of quickly do an overlay now the scale is in for some reason let's see it does the scale work no the scale did not work kind of tell that that is right there by the stairs so this pop out right here here's the stairs 
and you see that the stairs are up there. I don't know if you can kind of tell that, right? So here's the stairs in red, which is this part, and when I paste it in, so the scale is no good. So Bluebeam has a scale factor right here, and the easiest way to do it is uh, if I was to write out like the math equation for it. So really what I want to know is this, and so if I if I just do some basic math and divide both sides by the scale of the civil, right? So I'm going to divide both sides by this uh, by the by this scale over here, and we'll see that these two cancel, and so the scale's percentage is scale for the structure over scale for the civil. So I have that right there. Scale percentage equals scale structural over scale civil. Whoops, got an X in there for some reason. All right, so what that equals out to is 330 seconds. I, mean, I converted everything to uh, two inches. So 330 seconds a foot. So I'd rather do it in, I'll just do it in inches. So I said 330 seconds over 12 inches. That's the scale. And then the, ci the civil is uh, one inch equals 20 feet so 20 feet is 240 inches so one inch over 240 that just simplifying 330 seconds all this equals uh, 0.00781 right you can see the math there and so just doing that math equation is a factor 1.87 so you move the decimal place twice and it's 187.8% all right, Michael. Hey, dude, if you don't like math, that's probably not the way to do it, but I like it, so it's easy So uh, for me. So I'll just type in 187.8. That's the percent scale. Okay, now that it should be lining up at the right. Yeah, look. Now it wraps the stair just fine. See, I, the walls are lined up. It's all good, right? So the whole point of doing the, the, the overlay was to see where uh, this grease interceptor and the sampling manhole land. And sure enough, they land inside this big footing. And the grease interceptor is deep, so is the sam uh, I don't think the sampling manhole is that deep. But <clears throat> it's deeper than three feet down, so it's in the footing. So there's the... There's the one way to do it in Bluebeam if you like math. Another way, if we had just done it like kind of like the 100% there, I, mean, I could have just dragged the corner until I felt like it was pretty close. And if you don't like math, that's probably the way to go. So I've got to do a little more. Just sit there and fuss with it until it's pretty close and then you get an idea. All right, so there's one way. Uh, what the key in my mind is, is either way you want to do it, you want to be able to see through it. And it's that changing of the colors thing to, to, make, to, cut, to colorize it that I think helps quite a bit. To add a little closure to what ended up happening on the, so, there was a request for information sent to the designers and uh, had a little meeting, discussed how to, how to do this with the civil contractor as well as the civil designer and structural guy and how far away it needed to be. So this is the new configuration. You can see that it turned 90 degrees. Uh, some of this plumbing down here also reconfigured. And so now this is the new, this is the old version. This is the, the updated version that's outside of the footing now. And we could do the overlay again to see that it's outside the footing, but that's kind of beyond the point. One thing I think that's worthwhile while I'm sitting here showing this is we've got, uh, I've, I talked about coordinating the locations between the plumbing and the uh, plumbing and the civil. So we've got this, this is the basement, which is sort of right over here. You're not able to see it on the civil, but this is the plumbing in the basement. And we've got a, a, a vault here that has a, 
the dewatering system in it. So it's got a pipe coming out here and we'll, we'll go over to the next page to show where it comes up. So the oil, the, the sam, the, excuse me, the, um, the dewatering sump is, is right here. It uh, supposedly comes out of the floor right here. And this goes, ties into this Y right here and then out the building in this six inch storm drain. So one of the things that's obviously wrong is this is the parking garage and <laughs> this is in the dead center of the drive and so this is definitely not where the pipe is going to come up and so I said like it's good to try and coordinate the locations uh, of, of things so what what I thought would be worthwhile doing real quick is showing so here's the stairs right here's the stairs and we've got two lines coming out between this set this wall right here and the stairs so it's this wall and the stairs and there's two lines on the on the struck oh, excuse me on the civil now there's not two lines shown on the plumbing so the reality is this is the forced main and that's the forced main is going down this way into this uh, this storm drain and into the storm drain system this this uh, box there and then there's another storm drain right here going into the infiltration system so the plumber actually has an error there should be another line right here whoops there should be another line about right there for the forced main which is right there so they should have two between the stairs and the wall and then we've got just on the other side of the wall is the grease interceptor so that's the grease waste that's great so we've this one and this one line up and then we've got another storm drain correct that's the next storm drain and then we have a uh, green with and that's a sewer and sure enough we have a sewer so sort of counting these from bottom to top we have sewer storm sewer storm grease waste storm grease grease interceptor storm and then you can see they're missing one so the reality is the civil con the civil designer thinks this is this uh, pump right here coming out of the dewatering system is he does the civil civil designer does not want the same water coming out of here to go into the infiltration system I don't know if he calculated it and it's too much for the infiltration system or whatnot but it makes sense because this is uh, this is like a hundred gallons per minute coming in here and, uh, anyway that's a good reason to go check to make sure uh, the civil and the plumbing align a good example right there so let's go do the other uh, the other overlay all right let's do a different version of of uh, overlay here all right we've got the plumbing and then the uh, the foundation so what if you remember from the lecture we had uh, rammed aggregate piers or geo piers and plumbing uh, roof drains coming through here right and so let's let's just do the uh, document now check the scale the scale is one eighth per foot on the foundation we're also one eighth per foot here the problem is not gonna line up and I'll show you real quick There we go. So we'll change that color to orange. At foundation, we'll do uh, green. All right. Yeah. See, the building didn't line up, right? So it's the same scale, like this is the building corner on the structural building corner on the plumbing it didn't work 
So I'm not going to save that and we'll go back and do it again. All right. Do plumbing in green this time. Okay. Now this time we're going to use blue beam to align the points and uh, use the grid lines to do it. And you have to remember which order you did it in. And if I remember right, this, uh, not all the plumbing. I don't remember where the. Yeah, I'm going to move plumbing up. Because I know the grid lines are there. All right. Just use the extents here. So we'll do. A prime and A and 15 will do that. So it's not letting me, like, if I really want to be accurate, you can zoom right in. So A and 15, stay on that grid line. I'll do L and 15. And then we'll come down here and get the uh, this grid line four, four and L. Oh, we can't do four and L because that one doesn't go all the way through. So we'll do uh, do one that goes through J. Set a grid line. J and three. Now it switches over to the other one. So it's A and fifteen. L and fifteen, which is this one. There's L, J and three. There's grid three goes across J. Okay. So definitely aligned well because we got the building corners in the same spot, and that's what we were trying to show previously was the footing here and we've got uh, plumbing going through uh, the roof drains uh, main and the overflow all going through this each of these column piers and stuff so that was what we were trying to show before hopefully blue beam is uh, was was good to watch and we'll uh, catch you in the next one